What's new in FlexiComplete? Hi, this is Mark Rugan, Managing Director for Learning and Development here at SA International, and it is my privilege to walk you through some of the new features in the all-new FlexiComplete. I'll give you a good overview of these new features, options, and I think you'll enjoy this tour. So stay tuned as we get started right now. Okay, here's a quick summary of just some of the changes that are made, and some of these are real game changers. Uh, a new skinnable interface, that's going to change the way that the program looks. It just is an updated look. It looks great. There's a lot of changes to uh, using the program and designing. There's also some changes in Production Manager to make a white ink printing and so forth much easier. I think you're going to find that the new Flexi Complete is really a much better program than ever before. So let's go through some of these and let me show you what they are and how you can use them. Let's start with the ability to change the skin or the look or the theme of the interface. You can choose from several themes in preferences and then just apply them to Flexi Complete. Let me show you the live version of this. Here's one new interface. You can see it's kind of a silver color. Just go to the Edit menu and Preferences, and you will see now Theme. And you can choose from a light blue theme, so it changes to light blue. You can choose other themes as well. There's dark gray, silver, aqua, and even Legacy, if you want to go back to the regular one. So if I were to pick silver, for instance, it would look like this. So Change the theme as you like it uh, and make it look the way that you want it to. It's maybe more pleasing to you or easier to see icons. Another great new feature is uh, the addition of a slider to change the artboard background contrast. So you can just slide a little slider in Design Central and make the background a grayish color. This is great for showing off things like white lettering or other white items. That are, that's difficult to see against a white background. Now, just change the background with the slider. Another great new feature are two new full screen modes, giving you even more space to design in. Let's take a look. Let's just like take a look at a couple of new features here that are really helpful. Is this a transparent background on this image or not? One good way to tell, just click on the artboard and use the new artboard contrast feature. I can see now by just making that contrast a little darker in the artboard, it is in fact a transparent bitmap. In addition to that, we can go to the view menu and choose two new view modes. One is called full screen. Let's turn that on and you'll see all of the icons disappear, giving me a much larger area to design in. If I wanna view all of my commands, I can simply right click right here and select from a menu that's a drop-down menu. Easy. Let's exit that full screen, and we'll show you one other one. Let's go to View, View Mode, and now Full Screen Mode with Menus. So it's full screen, but you still have your menus up here at the top. And either way, you can just press Escape, and it will go back to Normal View. So those are two great new features that I know you're going to enjoy in Flexi Complete. Now we know you work on more than one job at a time, who doesn't? And we made it easier for you. Every job that you open in Flexi, now you'll see on the bottom of the screen, tabs. You'll be able to switch between, between jobs easily. Another nice little added feature to Flexi Complete. Um, you can go to the view menu and choose Show used color swatch. Let's just click that and there's nothing on the screen. So the swatch at the bottom here is blank. But watch this. If I open a file that has vector images in it with fills, right? So I have one here that's got multicolors. You open that up, it shows you your file, but it also builds all the used colors in a separate swatch. So this is very convenient for seeing what colors are contained within a file that you open up. Great little feature. You know, Flexi has always been the ultimate when adding contour cut lines, perf cut lines, and just doing print and cut. Well, now it's even better 
with the addition of some custom color swatch tables just for that process. Let me show you. So let's say we want to do a uh, contour cut on this and then also add a perf cut. Uh, all we do is select our vectors in here and down at the bottom you'll notice my swatch table, my default swatch table, now has contour cut, perf cut. It's got a lot of different spot colors here to identify different uh, layers, I guess you would say, or ways of using your perf cut and your contour cut. So the first thing I would do is I would go to my effects menu, choose contour cut. You'll see the contour cut is in here. Just remember, you can also include holes, no holes. That's up to you. And just click OK. OK, that's great. That's the way it's always worked. But in the past, we actually add a perf cut and it would be the same color. So it was a little hard to tell which was which was what. Well, now you just uh, have your in, uh, item selected. Go back to your contour cut. And in your drop down menu here, instead of just contour cut, if I choose perf cut, it's actually that magenta color. So now I know I can actually identify which one is doing what. And that is actually a special table that was added. If we can uh, open that table, I'm actually going to open up a contour cut table. So you actually have a, a special table here that's just defining all of the different ways that you can do your contour cut. So you've got perf cut, contour cut one, two, three, cut contour, and then you also have weed paths, which we'll talk about a little bit later. So this is a great new addition to Flexi Complete. Ever tried to find a color in Flexi? You open a file, you got a color on the screen, and you just want to find that color in one of your swatches, maybe match it to a Pantone or something like that. Now you can do that easily by just right clicking on the color. Let's go look. Finding a color in Flexi has been made a little bit easier. When you've got a vector on the screen here, you can just right click on it. And in that menu, you're going to see Find Color. Choose that. It will start up the uh, Color Specs menu, take you right to the Find tab here. You can just scroll down into all of these different color palettes. So if you're looking, say, for a Pantone, you could just expand that. If you want solid coded, just choose that and then click Search. And what that's going to do is show that color and some of the matches over here with the delta E next to it. So the lower the delta E, the better the match. So this is a great way to search for a specific color in any number of palettes here. Here's a new feature you're really going to love. Using the finishing tools right inside of the design side of Flexi Complete. Let me show you that. All right, I've got a file open here, and let's say we want to make a banner out of it, canvas wrap. We want to do something. You used to have to do this all in Production Manager. Now I'm in the design side of Flexi Complete. I can go to my, uh, select my menu here. I can go to my finishing tools, and I can add grommets, folds, bleeds to this image. Really easy to do. Just click it and turn it on. You can see in Design Central, you have all your uh, options sizes, so forth. Click advance. You can change the, the size of the offset, the number, the distance, all that. Really nice feature, right? So I'm going to say OK to that. Let's go back up there to the effects menu, finishing tools. How about a fold line around the outside edge? No problem there, right? Also, let's go back up, finishing tool. How about a bleed? And you can actually mirror the bleed, repeat the bleed, just do the color. So we're just going to do a mirror, all right, and I'm going to do a little bit larger bleed here. Let's make it this one inch, okay. Let's go all the way around here, one, one, make it a nice big bleed, and then click OK, and guess what? It's got a mirror all the way out there, and you can say no corners if it's like a banner or corners, and if it's a gallery wrap, nicely done, very nice feature. We know that PDF files are a very important part of design and printing in this business, and so we've improved the export capabilities for PDF files. We've actually added the option to convert lab colors to RGB, which will make it more compatible with uh, other programs. Also, we can assign the original color space, uh, an RGB or a CMYK color space, to exporting these PDF files, so a nice improvement and working with PDF files. 
Now, when you rasterize a file or change uh, vector images or convert a file into a raster image, we've added the additional option of a color mode of CMYK. So now you can actually rasterize in black and white, grayscale, index color, RGB, or CMYK. Another nice addition to FlexiComplete. Create custom weed paths right in the Flexi design side of FlexiComplete. Now you can take any vector and actually create your own custom weed paths. Let me show you how. So let's say we have a, a cut job and for some reason we need to set a very custom weed path through this. So we want to cut the black letters, but maybe we want to cut in between the letters and so forth, but we want to use a special path for some reason. You can use any of your tools over here for designing this. I'm just going to use my freehand tool and I'm just going to draw a little path like this and <laughs> I kind of jogged it there. That's okay. doesn't really matter because it'll, it'll actually apply that. You just simply select both of these paths, right? Right click on it and now you can actually choose a weed path. Just say create weed paths and you'll see it erased the stuff that was on top of the letters. In fact, if we go to wireframe here, this is how the path, that little line you're seeing going through the letters there, that's a weed path. When you send that over to your cutter, okay, what's going to happen is you're going to see that. And if you zoom in on this, right, let's go back here for a second. We'll zoom in right in here. You can see that weed path is going right up to the lettering there and in between the letters. It is actually a true weed line. So you can have custom weed lines now in FlexiComplete. There's been some nice improvements to the job info dialog box as well. You'll be able to uh, import uh, previous customer information either from another Flexi file or from the save file from the job info dialog box. You'll be able to add warning messages to that particular um, dialog box. So when you're printing the job for that particular customer, uh, a warning box will pop up if you desire to do that. And you can also add and delete custom fields into the job info area. So a great improvement in the information that you can now uh, install and record about each of the jobs for your customers. There's been a lot of improvement to the production manager side of FlexiComplete. Uh, for instance, you can actually show the file name when you just mouse over a file. You can actually preview the entire job in full screen mode, which is really helpful. And of course, you can actually see a contour cut path right inside of production manager. So you'll be able to preview your contour cuts. All great improvements to production manager. Okay, I am in production manager right now and I have a bunch of jobs over here in my queue. I'm gonna select them all and I'm gonna actually nest them together into a single job. So let's take a look at that job. Just double click on the nested name and that brings up your nested job. So as I mentioned before, if you let your mouse hover over each one of these images, it will tell you the name of the job. That is a really great feature. We've added a new icon down here, which is show full screen. If I click on that, you can actually see this is now much bigger. It gives me a nice big area here to be able to see all of my jobs if I want to. All right, so I'm gonna click that again to close that down. Very simple and straightforward to be able to see all of these things. Uh, there's a lot of other good features too. I'm gonna just close this up here. And what I'm going to do is unnest that for a moment. I just right click and I can click unnest easily, right? I'm going to go to this job and double click on it. And let's take an, and we'll just do one job here. Let's just make it one copy. And I'm going to go to the last tab on transparency here. And guess what? I can actually make sure that I have a transparent background and I can say select all the similar areas. I can come down here and actually say I want to create a contour cut path and I'll just make that a little bit bigger. And again, if you want to take a close look at it, you could go full screen here so you can see the whole thing up close. Really nice to be able to switch between screens like that really quickly. 
And in my preview up here at the top, besides layout, we've also added cut contour preview. So you can actually see what your contours are going to look like before you send them to your cutter. So I did all that within Production Manager. It's going to make life really easy for those of you that th need these kinds of features. We've also made some significant improvements in the way that nesting occurs and the way we can move around and, and alter nesting in Production Manager. Let me show you that. All right, to begin with, I'm going to take all of these jobs here and we'll nest those together. And then I'm going to double click on the nested name and you'll see all the nesting here. Now, a couple of things that are kind of nice, you can actually click on jobs now and uh, you can click uh, delete and delete a job right from the nest if you want to. And that deletes the job from the queue as well. Uh, after you've uh, nested things, you can also manually move these around, of course, uh, and, and align them and do whatever you need. And you can see it actually shows you a little, uh, let's go a little bit bigger here as I'm aligning these. And by the way, I get to this page. This is kind of nice, too. I can actually say I want to look at my page size here, right? I want to look at my page. So I define the material as uh, 70, 64 inches across and 72 high. I want to see that whole page. This is great for like in the DTF market. When you have like a gang sheet of a certain size, you can actually see the whole sheet. That's kind of nice. And again, if you notice when I'm moving these, you're actually seeing some alignment tools here. This is actually showing that it's perfectly aligned to the edge. Isn't that nice? So you can actually see that alignment on the edge there, which is really, really good. There's some additional tools up here for aligning and distributing and spacing uh, images, if you will. Uh, very nicely done. Uh, you can actually now take uh, graphics and overlap them if you want to. So if you want to move uh, some of these in to combine some of these images, uh, you can actually do that if you want to, which is kind of nice as well. Uh, there's so like as I said, there's a zoom to page. There's a zoom page width. Uh, you can go full screen. There's a lot of different nice little improvements in the nesting capabilities and viewing capabilities here now in the production manager job properties. This is a great improvement uh, in, the, in the ability to print uh, jobs that we call a sandwich job. This is where a job is maybe one image is going to face outward. Uh, and then another image is going to face on the inside. Well, sometimes those images don't match exactly in size. Well, now in Production Manager, you can actually match those. You can fit them, scale them, or even add a little workspace. And this is going to make those match perfectly so they print exactly the same size, and you're able now to match those up in a sandwich job. A great improvement. You're really going to like this one. Uh, we've improved and uh, created and the ability to smooth the edge of a transparency that you make in Production Manager. I need to really show you this one. All right, I'm in Production Manager. I've got an image here. I'm going to double click on the image, bring it up nice and big. A couple of things here that I really, really like. Let's just say, first of all, that I want to add a transparency to it. Go to the Transparency tab. Click on Create Transparent Background. Just pick a color like this. You can see how it made this transparent. You can actually choose similar colors if you want to. And you can also have a slider here that lets you make more transparent. So you can kind of get a long way like this. You can hold the Shift key down and add other uh, colors in that you feel are still existing there. And this is all you could do in the previous versions. And what would happen is, is on the edge here, you'd get this nice a little bit of a jagged edge there right now we can actually click smooth the edges smooth the edges and pick a a number for that and you can see how that really helped this is without it this is now with it much smoother along the edges there now i'm going to go full page here and i'm going to hold my i'm going to go back here and i'm actually going to use my shift key and select these pieces here so it's applying Using the shift key, it's actually applying it to this graphic using the settings up here at the top. What's also nice is you can click right here. It says show transparency mask. That's basically a quick preview of where you can print your white ink. If you're going to if you're going to print a white ink underbase under here, that's the transparency mask. 
right? So that's a, a lot of improvement right inside of the transparency tab right here. Really, really nice. If you want to see what this is going to look like on a black t-shirt, go right down here to the bottom and say, I want to preview the canvas color. You click on that color, you click on the color of the shirt, you click OK, and then it gives you kind of a, an image of what it's going to look like in the, on a black background, for instance. That's really nice. Uh, so you'll be able to do quite a bit more with that transparency tab. We've also added transparency by object boundary. And this is specifically to handle um, images where, like in the flag, you have 100% uh, white and you're trying to add uh, white underneath it. Well, sometimes it does not uh, recognize that and it might leave a hole or a spot or something like that. Let me show you how you fix that. All right, so here I have a design. I've got some vector stars on the left side. I've got a bitmap on the right side and I want to print this and put white underneath it. So we're going to send that file over to our wide format printer and we'll go ahead and put it on hold. All right and now I'm going to go to production manager. Just give me a second here. There we go. And there's our file. So I'm going to double click on the file and I want to add some transparency to this. Well, the problem is, is that if I turn on my transparency by color and I pick, say, this white, if you look right up here at the top right hand side, you'll see that some of the flag is disappearing because that was 100 percent white. And that's what I chose as my RGB color. So that's not going to work. It's going to give me a gap in that area. So what we've done to solve that is just create transparent background and do it by object boundaries. So that way it's solid under the stars and solid all the way across and you can verify that by just showing the transparency mask. So again rather than selecting by color and if I show the transparency mask you'll see there's an issue up here at the top instead of doing that we just simply turn on select by object boundaries and we get a perfect background there so that we can print white underneath our image. That is a very very good thing to do. It's very easy and uh, it's a great new feature in Production Manager under the Transparency tab. Just a couple of more things I want to talk about and by far I just want you to remember these are not all the features. These are just some of the ones that I thought you would really want to see. But a nice one is uh, a new way of updating you. When a new update is available you'll get a pop-up menu like this and you'll be able to decide if you want a reminder in a day or a week or a month or if you just want to go to the download page and download the update. So this is going to uh, be a, a nice way to keep you all up to date on the software. In addition to that, I want to stress that you are not alone in learning this. Uh, we have a website called addendo.com. It is part of the SAI Learning and Development Department. I'm in charge of that. And there's an online community there. This is a private community for Flexi users who they, you can talk to each other. It's kind of like Facebook, but a lot better because you're going to get free video training. Uh, you're going to get lots of discounts. Uh, you'll have access to Addendo advisors who are experts in the market. There's a lot of reasons to become a member of the online community. Uh, you can access e-courses where you can actually, these are self-paced courses where you can learn Flexi, learn about white ink, learn about print and cut, learn about direct-to-film, vehicle wraps, all kinds of different topics. We also offer at Addendo two ways to get live help. One is virtual training. Our Addendo advisors, and we have about a half a dozen of them, when you go to addendo.com, just click on virtual training and you can see who they are. And you can hire these guys for one-on-one -on -one live training for as little as half an hour to as many hours as you want. And if you really need help setting things up, checking things, uh, maybe some hands-on for new employees, we also do on-site training. So we're here for you. We want to help you learn the software, not just the new features, but how to do projects Give us a try at addendo.com. My name is Mark Rugen. I am 
Managing Director of the Learning and Development Department for SAI. And I want to thank you for watching this short demonstration of some of the new features in FlexiComplete.